also have hog market analysis this week with University of Missouri Extension economist Ron Plain. Lean hog futures took off at the beginning of the week thanks to the USDA's quarterly hogs and pigs report released before the weekend. As Ron said when we talked Tuesday, the shocker in those numbers was the USDA's tally of all hogs and pigs at 62.1 million head, down 5% from June 2013. Uh, that was a big surprise. Uh, nearly 2% fewer uh, market hogs than the trade was expecting. Uh, uh, lowest summer inventory in years. In fact, it looks like hog slaughter this year will be the smallest since 2006. Both market hog inventory and uh, pig save per litter were down. And as you mentioned, that last stat there, what impacts do those have on overall production? Well, we were down 5.1% in, in pigs per litter during the spring quarter. Uh, historically, we usually expect up 1 or 2%, but the PED virus has really changed things. Uh, and so we're down sharply, and that's the big reason we have 5% fewer market hogs, is uh, uh, so many hog farms are struggling to uh, uh, deal with the PED virus. Do you think now we're seeing less of an influence from PEDV? Well, perhaps a bit. Uh, uh, USDA said that pigs per litter during the winter was down 5.5%, during the spring down 5.1%. That's a little bit of improvement. We expect uh, we'll see a little less impact uh, during the summer, but still this is uh, uh, devastating for a lot of hog farms. Any positive angles to the quarterly hogs and pigs report? Well, uh, fewer hogs mean higher prices. Uh, the futures market was up the limit on a good chunk of uh, the contracts on Monday following the, uh, the release of the pig report. Uh, uh, so uh, uh, that's good news for, for hog prices and hog farmers. Uh, the fairing intentions for the summer up only one-tenth of one percent. Uh, USDA earlier had talked about 2.4 percent more sales faring this summer, so uh, less growth than we had been expecting back in March. Was that an indication of how surprised the market was, its reaction on Monday? Uh, yes, uh, that's also part of the thing. Fewer sales faring uh, boost the markets. Uh, uh, hog farms have been making good money, but uh, still it looks like uh, PED virus has got them uneasy enough that they're not quite ready to expand the sow herd yet. Right, and with that tight production, could those high prices continue? Well, it looks like it's going to. Retail prices uh, have been record high the last three months in a row, right at $4.10 a pound for uh, pork during the month of May. And so high uh, grocery store prices pumps money down through the system, so uh, we're probably going to see hog prices uh, move a bit higher than they've already been. Does there appear to be any price resistance from the pork consumer? Well, one of the things that's uh, fortunate for pork is beef is also record high. And so, yes, pork is expensive, but it's still uh, uh, more than a dollar a pound cheaper than beef prices. So uh, uh, consumer resistance so far doesn't seem to be very great. On the farrow to finish side, what are producers experiencing for profit margins? Uh, records. Uh, uh, March, April, and May were larger profits per head sold than any previous months in history, uh, $91 or so in uh, March, $81 in uh, range in April, $74 in May. And we're probably going to see uh, uh, July and August uh, uh, profits, uh, looks like right now, maybe up close to $100 per head. Give me an update on the export market, Ron. We're doing well. Despite record high pork prices, uh, we're exporting more pork. We were up 10% in uh, pork exports in the first third of this year. Uh, Mexico, China, and South Korea all buying a lot more pork than they did a year ago. And finally, Ron, this week's USD reports for corn and soybeans were very bearish. Prices fell early in the week. What impact could that have on feed prices for hog producers? Well, uh, if we produce a lot of corn this year, it's going to mean lower feed costs. Uh, we've seen a dramatic decline in the cost of production for hogs. We're looking at break-evens on a live weight basis around 57 cents. A good corn crop and a good bean crop, and we could see that drop on down into the lower 50s late in this year. And so uh, that also is going to add to the profit margin for hog farmers. The current number of states with a positive PEDV test stands at 30. The next quarterly hogs and pigs report is scheduled for release Friday, September 26th.